What is up YouTube and welcome to this Arrow video. First of all, I was right, I was right, and I was right. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below. If you love the MCU as much as I do, go and check out my Captain Marvel video. I discussed some really cool stuff in that trailer. The trailer looked absolutely stunning. And also check us out on Instagram and Twitter, both at Superhero Nexus. So you can check out my life in my stories and on Twitter there. And well, this episode was amazing. Now, the other week, I said that the, the Prison Break episode was great, and that was amazing. I even forgot that I could predicted that our friend Stanley was... Yeah, there was, there was something odd with that dude. But this episode was stunning for many reasons. So if you don't want any spoilers for the episode, please do click off the video, come back, when you've watched the episode, and we'll chat. But first of all, what is going on with Oliver and the Star City Police Department? He is now a legitimized vigil ante. And it's weird seeing him with his suit without like the hood, the mask, the makeup, and all that kind of thing. Really interesting that he's working with them after, you know. It, it, it's strange, but it makes sense that they would legitimize a vigil ante, and does he... Will this water down what he can and can't do? Because now he has to operate within the confines of the law. He can't just kill people when he actually damn well pleases. So that's going to be an interesting plot point moving forward. So the vigilantes have been legitimized. And I kind of think that this storyline kind of really waters down the, the Green Arrow experience. Which I guess at time will actually tell what happens but Oliver is out of prison he is the deputy and he is still with Felicity but she has changed he has changed uh oh dilemma maybe they will have a divorce and then he'll you know get with a, a, a black canary and, and everything will be fine but probably probably not to be honest but how will they cope that's a story on which I do not give a flying f Big roll about. I don't care whatsoever. P -p -p Pointless. But we have some interesting stuff. We we know now who the new Green Arrow is, and this is a plot. And I love this. There's a term for it. There is a. I think it's dramatic irony. I'm not sure. Any English majors? Do you want to get out there and tell me? But where we get the reveal, we know everything. But the characters have no freaking clue as to who this actually is. Now, it opened with a female training, and that is, if you didn't guess already, is Emiko Queen, the daughter of Robert Queen. In the comics, he had a relationship with Shadow on Starfish Island, which was actually the, the comic book version of Lian Yu. The comic book pretty much rebooted itself in Rebirth, uh, sorry, in New 52, and then went on to, you know, kind of copy the storylines of the, the TV show. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's cool. But we've got here the the half-sister of Oliver Queen. And in the comics, he had a... There was a rival and this kid was stolen by Simon LaCroix. He was then killed. This then led to Emiko joining forces with Oliver Queen and then becoming what was known as the Red Arrow. So here, I'm not too sure if she knows a lot about or if they're doing what they're doing with her origin story. We haven't seen much of it. We just see her at the family home and we see her at the gravesite of Robert Queen. So that's curious to say the least as to where they go with this. Will she become a ward of Oliver? That would be very fun seeing those two. But I expect them two to fight and go head to head at some point because he doesn't know about her. She knows about him. Again, more dramatic irony if that's the actual word. So it's really cool to see that. I did predict this ages ago, which I've got to say, <laughs> your boy is dropping them predictions this week. I'm dropping more predictions than Marvel are dropping trailers, which, by the way, Avengers 4 has been reportedly delayed due to the funeral of President Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully uh, we we get it at some point, but after that Marvel trailer, my the the taste for Marvel has been satiated for now, and I'm happy, more than happy to wait. But 
I, I want it, I want it. Just, just damn trade it right now. So, Arrow, Emiko Queen. We might see some kind of conflict going forward with those two, which, like I said, would be an interesting dynamic. It's brother, it's sister, it's half-brother, half-sister. It's going to be fun, to say the least. I mean, will she be in... Will she have, like, one of her father's or her old business partner of her father? Will he be pulling the strings from behind, or is... This a long con from Diaz. Is this a huge long con to absolutely destroy the poor old Green Arrow there as well? The the real Green Arrow, not the the new one. But Emiko Queen, uh, the actress looks good. She looks similar to the cat. She's got like a an Asian origin and like that. But we we have to find out who her mother probably will be. Uh, I haven't got a prediction on that yet, but it's gonna be curious. To say the least. Now, I really did like the fact that we are going back to season one here. And we go back to an old friend of Oliver Queen. He he banged this dude's wife. That's probably why he's a bit salty. Uh, well, his ex-wife now. So, we, we're seeing his past come back to haunt him here. And again, he will see his father's past come back to haunt him here as well. So, thematic themes, themes and everything. But, Felicity, is she evil in the future? They're hinting that she's not. She's been playing a long, long game here, I think. She's she's been hinting that she is not evil. And Blackstar, who is Blackstar? Well, Roy was suspiciously absent from that. He could have worn like a, a disguise, like a, a moustache and a nose and glasses. But no, he, he was like, bruh, I'm gonna sit this one out. Probably because he would get noticed, but what if that is his daughter that he had with Thea or Taya? I always pronounce that name incorrectly. It's 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 a May May on this channel. It's a May May, or is it a meme? Uh gotcha. But we have got a massive trailer at the end of this. Now I didn't realise that this was on the Supergirl episode. I haven't watched Supergirl just yet because I was out last night watching New Mere 6 in London. But what we got here was Earth 90, yes, there's supposed to be 53 Earths, I understand that. However, in The Flash, they were doing the whole, you know, 52 Earths, then we had Earth X 53, that kind of thing. However, if we're doing Crisis on Infinite Earths, we need Infinite Earths. It wasn't until New 52 that we got, well, 52 Earths. And of course, there's all kinds of things going on with the Source War at the moment. However, Infinite Earths. So th th let's just forget about that for now. That will get explained. Just put that. That's going on the shelf. Earth 90. Obviously, The Flash. 1990s. That makes sense. But what was stupidly weird here was that we saw Stargirl. Okay, I, I get it. Probably probably in, in that world. Yes, I understand. But we saw Captain Cold, which looked like the, the CW version. Then, moving on from that, we actually had the Ray where we saw, I believe, a few others. We saw the Smallville Green Arrow. I was like, hold on a minute. What is going on? And then we see John Wesley's ship as the Flash with the with the monitor there. So that's absolutely bizarre. So I'm not sure, really sure why the Smallville thing's there. Maybe my prediction that Smallville exists, like the that, that kind of high school storyline, blah, 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 that exists in this world. I, I, I would love that to exist. I hope that is an Earth. That would be one mighty Easter egg from us, us OGs here on the CW superheroes. But the Monitor, is he evil? Now, this is, this is weird. He has the book, obviously. But if you look at the map of the multiverse from Grant Morrison's Multiversity, well, and of course, if you go on the back of it, that's the, that's the Dark Universe from... Uh, you know, Batman who laughs, that kind of thing. Dark Knight's Metal. That was just weird. I love the fact they just flipped that over and they're like, oh, there's more worlds. Okay. That, that's just me. A bit, bit riffing on there. there. But the, we have the Overvoid, which is what's beyond the source wall. So we have a guy with a book and he's just chilling. One of the first prime monitors. That book is possibly that. That's all I've got. I've been trying to research. I've been reading comics dissecting wikis but i can't find anything on that so if you if you know you know if you just let me know down in the comments just so i know but like i said core cool episode this is the pretty much like the post credit stinger ready for elseworlds next week hype af 
that for Elseworlds, it's going to be absolutely sickening. So Elseworlds here starts with this, and we see the Flash. I expect the Flash escapes, and then, so he, he's like, yeah, whoa, see ya! And then goes and tells every other world what's going on, because in Crisis on Infinite Earths, only a few Earths actually survived. Earth 1, I believe, 2 three with alexander luther there may have been another one i think crisis on i think earth x survived as well but they're not doing crisis on infinite earth so we can't really draw too much from that story but I'm not really sure why the monitor is rewriting worlds because he's a good guy and he stopped the anti-monitor we really have we just got the anti-monitor here that, that'd be interesting but that is it for this video please drop a like please do subscribe i'll see you soon goodbye